Wake me up when September ends. The rest of September was hard. I wasn't used to getting up so early in the morning. I wasn't used to this whole notion of homework, and I got my first quiz at the end of the month. I never got quizzes when mom homeschooled me. I also didn't like how I had no free time anymore. Before, I was able to play whenever I wanted to, but now it felt like I always had stuff to do for school. And being at school was awful in the beginning. Every new class I had was like a new chance for kids to not stare at me. They would sneak peeks at me from behind their notebooks or when they thought I wasn't looking. They would take the longest way around me to avoid bumping into me in any way, like I had some germ that they could catch, like my face was contagious. In the hallways, which were always crowded, my face would always surprise some unsuspecting kid who maybe hadn't heard about me. The kid would make the sound you make when you hold your breath before going underwater. A little like, <gasps> sound. This happened maybe four or five times a day for the first few weeks. On the stairs, in front of the lockers, in the library. 500 kids in a school. Eventually, every one of them was going to see my face at some time. And I knew after the first couple of days that word had gotten around about me because every once in a while I'd catch a kid elbowing his friend as they passed me or talking behind their hands as I walked by them. I can only imagine what they were saying about me. Actually, I prefer not to even try to imagine it. I'm not saying they were doing any of these things in a mean way, by the way. Not once did any kid laugh or make noises or do anything like that. They were just being normal, dumb kids. I know that. I kind of wanted to tell them that. Like, it's okay. I know I'm weird looking. Take a look. I don't bite. Hey, the truth is, if a Wookiee started going to the school all of a sudden, I'd be curious. I'd probably stare a bit. And if I was walking with Jack or Summer, I'd probably whisper to them, Hey, there's the Wookiee. And if the Wookiee caught me saying that, he'd know I wasn't trying to be mean. I was just pointing out the fact that he's a Wookiee. It took about one week for the kids in my class to get used to my face. These were the kids I'd see every day in all my classes. It took about two weeks for the rest of the kids in my grade to get used to my face. These were the kids I'd see in the cafeteria, yard time, PE, music, library, computer class. It took about a month for the rest of the kids in the entire school to get used to it. These were the kids in all the other grades. They were big kids, some of them. Some of them had crazy haircuts. Some of them had earrings in their noses. Some of them had pimples. None of them looked like me. Jack will. I hung out with Jack in homeroom, English, history, computer, music, and science, which were all the classes we had together. The teachers assigned seats in every class, and I ended up sitting next to Jack in every single class, so I figured either the teachers were told to put me and Jack together, or it was a totally incredible coincidence. I walked to classes with Jack, too. I know he noticed kids staring at me, but he pretended not to notice. One time, though, on our way to history, this huge eighth grader who was zooming down the stairs two steps at a time accidentally bumped into us at the bottom of the stairs and knocked me down. As the guy helped me stand up, he got a look at my face, and without even meaning to, he just said, Whoa! Then he patted me on the shoulder like he was dusting me off and took off after his friends. For some reason, me and Jack started cracking up. That guy made the funniest face, said Jack as we sat down at our desks. I know, right? I said. He was like, whoa, I swear, I think he wet his pants. We were laughing so hard that the teacher, Mr. Roche, had to ask us to settle down. Later, after we finished reading about how ancient Sumerians built sundials, Jack whispered, do you ever want to beat those kids up? I shrugged. I guess, I don't know. I'd want to. I think you should get a secret squirt gun or something and attach it to your eyes somehow. And every time someone stares at you, you would squirt them in the face. With some green slime or something, I answered. No, no, with slug juice mixed with dog pee. Yeah, I said, completely agreeing. Guys, said Mr. Roche from across the room, people are still reading. We nodded and looked down at our books. Then Jack whispered, are you always going to look this way, August? I mean, can't you get plastic surgery or something? I smiled and pointed to my face. Hello, this is after plastic surgery. Jack clapped his hand over his forehead and started laughing hysterically. Dude, you should sue your doctor, he answered between giggles. This time, the two of us were laughing so much we couldn't stop, even after Mr. Roche came over and made us both switch chairs with the kids next to us.